good morning to you, Rob. Uh, yes, uh, quite a bit of uh, rain fell over the northeastern part of the country. Still expecting uh, some cloudy conditions through the central as well as the eastern part. So a continuation of those uh, cloudy and wet conditions, particularly there uh, over Mpumalanga where you showed those uh, roads that have uh, caved in in places. Still seeing that broadband of isolated to scattered showers and thunder showers widespread mainly over the northwest free state Lesotho, KwaZulu-Natal and the eastern part of the eastern Cape. Clear skies at times over the extreme western part of the northern Cape and that northwestern corner of the western Cape. Now, uh, taking a look at the warnings issued by the South African Weather Service, it is a yellow level 2 and an orange level 5 for disruptive rainfall. That being over the eastern Cape, the eastern parts of KwaZulu Natal, Mpumalanga, central and eastern parts of uh, Limpopo, including the central and southern parts of Gauteng, northern and eastern parts of the Free State, and in places over the northwest where widespread flooding is possible. So please uh, do take caution, particularly if you're out on our roads, please do not try and cross any flooded roads. In terms of our daytime temperatures, fairly cool to warm, hot in places over the western part, up in and peaking at 37 today. Calfinia maximum of 31 along that southern coastline. A cool day with scattered showers and rain in George with 23. Kabecha peaking at 24. 21 in Komani. Peter Marisburg expecting a maximum of 26. Tomorrow, clear skies, a warm day over the western parts, but cooler conditions then settling in over the central and southern parts of the country with isolated to scattered showers and thunder showers. And then again, widespread showers and thunder showers over KwaZulu Natal, the northern and eastern parts of the Free State and in places through the central regions of the northwest. That's your weather. Do stay tuned.